hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a cow inspired nail look um i've been seeing this nail look all over instagram and i was like you know what i gotta do that so i wanted to go ahead and give it a try so let's get into it right here i am gonna go ahead and apply these coffin shaped nails with this e-basket glue that you guys have seen me do several times it's really actually nothing new i don't know if i mentioned to you guys before um this but this e-basket glue is absolutely amazing these nails are staying on so long i used to use kiss nail glue i used to get it at target walmart but i decided to um switch nail glues and this nail glue is working wonders so if you guys um haven't got your hands on it you guys need to anyways yeah i'm gonna finish doing this and we'll go from there All right, you guys, so from here, I'm gonna use my um, Tropical Shine Coarse Nail File. You guys have seen me use this nail file several times as well, if you guys have been watching my videos. Um, I like to use this nail file just to give me the length that um, I want. Normally, these nails are the length that I um, desire, but I just file them down just a tiny bit. So this part is actually super easy. And then I'm gonna take a nail buffer just to get off the excess um, nail that's left behind if you know what i'm talking about you guys will see just keep watching All right, you guys, so literally like always, I'm gonna go ahead and use this ASP um, gel nail polish. This is in the color Creme de la Creme. I always tell you guys that this is like the best um, like nudie color, if that makes sense. Um, like I know like with acrylics, a lot of people are into like the sheer tan. So this is like a perfect substitute, especially cause it's not acrylic. So if you guys can get your hands on it, I definitely would. I tell you guys all the time that I got this from Sally's and it is really hard to get your hands on. So if you guys come across it, make sure that you guys get it. Cause I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed.
all right you guys so after i'm done doing this nail i'm gonna go ahead and cure um this for 60 seconds i'm gonna do two coats 60 seconds in between then i'm gonna go ahead and clean my nails off with some alcohol this is just to get the sticky or tacky part that's left over after you guys apply gel pretty sure if you guys applied gel before on your own you guys know exactly what i'm talking about um uh, yeah and then i'm gonna go ahead and um use this ibrit um gel nail polish it's in the color white so pr pretty much any white gel polish will work i'm gonna go ahead and use a, a dotting tool and i'm gonna go ahead and just create a um like diagonal um like cow print effect if you will just see what i'm you guys can just keep watching you'll see what i'm doing um using a dotting tool by the way is like super super easy because it's not meant to be like perfect or anything as you guys know like um not cow spots but like the cow design is not really perfect obviously so this dotting tool is really nice because you can really just be sloppy with it just anything i feel like the sloppier it looks the better it looks because it kind of mimics it a little bit better but anyways yeah that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do and then i'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this D&D black nail polish. This color is in Black Ocean, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as you guys can see here, I made a huge freaking mistake. So I thought I was using the gel polish and I wasn't. I was using like the normal nail polish. So literally, I come in here, I'm dotting my nails. I cure my nails for 60 seconds. I clean it off with an alcohol pad or whatever, a cotton ball. And then I'm looking at my nails like, what the heck? Why does it look like that? All to find out that I accidentally used the normal nail polish instead of the gel so after this clip it's just pretty much the same technique but you guys are going to see that i kind of change it off camera um yeah so that's aside the point i just thought i would let you guys know i kind of made a mistake here but still it came out cute so it's all good
All right, you guys, so here I'm gonna go ahead and use this gelish matte top coat. Um, what did I say? What am I trying to say? I got this from Sally's. I'm only, only applying one coat of this, and then I'm gonna put it in the cure for 60 seconds. And then once again, like I've mentioned several times throughout this <laughs> video, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some alcohol and clean it off with a cotton ball. All right, you guys, so now moving on to my other hand, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Ibrid Pink Nail Polish, and I'm gonna create the exact same effect that I used when I created the, um, when I did the black design um, on the opposite hand, and exactly the same techniques as I did before. Um, and yeah, that's about it. All right, you guys, so as this video comes to an end, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you guys don't miss any um, videos that I post in the future. If you guys have any cute nail ideas, um, that kind of thing, send them to me on Instagram or tag me on Instagram or even just leave a comment down below. I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, I hope to come up with some new content soon. I hope that you guys enjoyed these nails because honestly, I am in love with them. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. I actually lied, I forgot to do this part. You guys, I'm applying this California cuticle mango oil. You guys have seen me apply this um, all the time. Applying that to my cuticle is gonna rub it in and that's about it. All right, you guys, for real, I'm out, bye.